everyone, my name is Laura Dennis and I'm the manager of the Vaccine Preventable Diseases Program at the Thunder Bay District Health Unit. We've been getting lots of questions about vaccines lately and so today I'd like to answer some of those questions for you. The first question is when can people get their COVID-19 fall booster? Well at this time we don't know for sure when the campaign will start for the fall, however we do know that Ontario's Ministry of Health is planning to make their recommendations public very soon. In the meantime, we are tentatively planning for an October start for individuals who are at serious risk of complications from COVID-19. We know that flu vaccines will also be recommended this fall for healthcare workers and anyone in a high risk group. Some examples of people who may be at higher risk are those who are pregnant, immunocompromised, or those over the age of 65. Keep checking the Ministry of Health site as well as all of our updates to find out when you should get your COVID-19 and flu booster this fall. The next question we've been getting a lot lately is what's the deal with the new RSV vaccine? As you've likely heard, Health Canada has recently approved a new vaccine for those who are 60 years of age and older that protects against a respiratory disease called RSV. This is a common disease that can cause serious complications and circulates yearly. At this time, the vaccine is not available publicly funded or for free, and therefore you will not be able to get it for free at a healthcare provider or the health unit. That may change though, and when it does, we will be sure to update you and let you know where you can get it and how. In the meantime, you may be able to access the vaccine from a pharmacy if you are able to get a prescription from a healthcare provider. You may contact a pharmacy and see if they are able to order it for you before there is a publicly funded program set up. The third question we've been getting a lot lately is why are we promoting routine school age vaccines so heavily lately? There are a few reasons for this. First of all, these vaccines provide very important protection against serious illnesses. Some of these illnesses are measles, mumps, pertussis and polio, and more. We want to ensure that children are protected against these illnesses because they can cause very serious complications. Even if some of these diseases are no longer circulating in Canada, some of these diseases are circulating in some other countries. And there's the risk that they could return to our area if vaccine coverage is low and people get infected while traveling. We're also worried that over the last few years, kids had fewer opportunities to receive routine immunizations because of healthcare providers, medical appointments being limited, as well as our routine clinics being limited. Over the summer, we did offer additional vaccine clinics to make it easy for school-age kids to catch up. And we continue to offer these vaccines through our Wednesday immunization clinic at the health unit. For more details on this clinic, please visit tbdhu.com slash vaxclinics. If you have questions or you're worried that your child isn't up to date on routine vaccines, please feel free to give us a call at 807-625-5900 or your local branch office and you can talk to a nurse and ask your questions. 